Hey guys, I hope you're having a great weekend. A quick word, um, please, unless you really know what you're talking about, please stop posting criticisms on my page about the keto life and the uh, ketosis. Okay? Um, there have been quite a few criticisms posted and every single one of them has been bullshit. Okay? Now, if you've got something credible and you can back it up a thousand percent, put it there. I want to know about it and I want everybody else to know about it. But this false bullshit, this fake news has to stop. Let me give you a couple examples. Um, one gal was really irritated that she doesn't like the, the, the keto life. That's not her thing. Um, so in order to attack the keto life, she said, I don't understand how insulin works. And of course, no evidence, no proof. She just says it. Um, and it really wasn't an attack on me. It was an attack on the keto life because she doesn't like it. Um, another one, uh, there was a criticism. When I looked up the study that the criticism was based on, the study was, indeed, it was a low-carb diet, just like uh, the keto life is, uh, but it was 42% sugar. Now, what is the seminal element of the keto life? Being in ketosis. If your diet is 42% sugar, you're a thousand miles from ever getting into ketosis, so it's not even the same. Uh, another person said that you should only do the keto diet uh, if you, or you should not do the keto diet if you have compromised kidney function. Again, totally false. Um, there, there's no problem with keto and kidney function. Uh, where there, what, what's, the, what's the link between some of these diets that are bad when you have compromised kidney function? Well, they all have low carb, okay, but the only type of diet that is bad for you if you have compromised kidney function is low carb high protein which is again not the keto life so please stop and the last one was um that certain kinds of cancer uh thrives on ketones and therefore you should not be in ketosis to do the keto life uh again total bullshit. uh there is a process called gly glycosis that takes place inside the cells where two things are produced, and that is beta-hydroxybutyrate, which is otherwise known as ketone bodies, and uh, L-lactose. And then once those are created within the cell, they then signal cancerous tumors to grow. Okay. However, that's a completely different physiological function than having uh, beta-hydroxybutyrate ketone bodies in your blood as part of being in ketosis. Two completely separate physiological functions. Uh, as a matter of fact, there are quite a few articles and now research showing that uh, keto is actually great for suppressing um, cancer. As a matter of fact, I'm going to read out right off my computer from the U.S. National Library of Medicine, which is a component of the National Institute of Health. Quote, studies indicate that unlike healthy tissues, cancer cells are unable to effectively use ketone bodies for energy. Okay? Two different functions where they where the cells through gly glycolysis create beta hydroxybutyrate that is completely different from having ketones in your blood. So please, unless you really know what the fuck you're talking about and you can back it up a thousand percent, no more criticism. And again, if the criticism you can support it a thousand percent, I want to know and I want everybody else to know. Other than that, knock it off because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And what you're doing is you're actually pushing people away from a healthy lifestyle. And that's fucked up. Don't do that. All right. See you.